and James, not James Franco, I want to say James Franco, but it's not, it's his little baby brother, David Franco, they look just alike, anyway, um, this movie is basically about, um, crazy white kids basically doing stupid ass stunts on, um, you know, dare, it's basically truth or dare without the truth, basically, that's how they advertise it to us, and that's basically how it is, um, they're not really, the, the trailers is very misleading because in the trailers it makes it look like oh they're doing, having fun doing these little dares and these little stunts but then shit hit the fan and now they have to do it to the end. That's technically not the truth and I don't want, I don't want to spoil anything but it's like uh, they're just, the last 15 minutes of the movie is basically what you saw in this in the trailer, like they're getting stuck in the game, they have to beat the game. It's basically the last 15 minutes. And the rest of the leading up to it is basically them doing shit on their own. So that's basically the concept. And again, th this is a very smart idea, and I easily see this being something like we do in 55 or even 15 years from now, or five or 10 years from now. Um, because this is the new trend and people do stupid shit. I mean, you remember the one where they had the fucking Light your shit on fire, that little stupid fire challenge thing. People are fucking stupid. I'm like, I hate to say it, but a lot of niggas do that challenge. Anyway, um, but like I said, this movie was actually very interesting. I actually had a lot, of, I actually enjoyed myself watching it. It's um, not, it's not really like a plot driven movie. It's more of just kids having fun type of movie. They're doing these crazy stunts or dares and stuff like that. It's basically like that. It's like having a good time to friends if you had a choice to go to the movies and watch this movie. Um, Cause I was going to this movie not really wanted to watch it. It looked like something I would watch if it was on TV, but nothing I would go to the theater and watch. But um, I actually had a really good time watching this movie. And um, there was actually one scene in particular where I was like, my heart was beating. Even though I knew the characters would be okay, I um, was very, uh, and I have to give it to uh, Emma Robinson and Emma Robinson and David uh, Franco. They actually had a really good chemistry. I actually bought that they were two people that kind of just met each other and just starting to actually end up liking each other within this course of a night. Um, so, like I said, this movie is very interesting. If you have to be, if you are bored, have nothing to do, you need to kill some time before you have to go some important meeting or some bullshit or so you just want to get the fuck out of the house i would recommend you watch this movie if you want to go in the theater i'm going to go kind of big i'm going to go about um 3.8 out of 5 i really enjoyed this movie more than i thought i would um it's a movie i'll probably watch again if it's on tv i'm not gonna like buy the goddamn blu-ray but um i would definitely give it a shot you know if it's on tv um so like I said, if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and peace out. I'm hungry.